Hey, hey, fellow gamers, welcome back. This is, uh, again, my modified version of the Canadian game Crack Crocodile. I almost called it Crackinal, but a friend of mine does call it Crack in the Hole because it's kind of addictive, like crack. <laughs> it's a disc fucking game, and this is a, just a quick example of how my modified board works and my modified Crocodile rules work for this uh D, D themed game four wizards are battling the beholder defending the town of Crocodile. We call this eye of the beholder the first wizard to a hundred points will kill the beholder the wizards have five rounds to kill the beholder or the beholder kills them and destroys the town of Crocodile. <laughs> Rules are quite simple. If a wiz this is a flicking game, you have to flick these discs, and the rules depend on what's on the table. If a wizard has no opposing disc on the table, so there's a red wizard, yellow wizard, green wizard, and a blue wizard. If uh, a blue, yellow, or green wizard is not on the board, then the red wizard has this rule for the shot to be legal. The disc must end up in the pocket or within the red ring or at least touching the red line. Otherwise, the disc is removed. It's not a valid shot. So, let's see how this goes. That's a valid shot being completely with inside the 15 point ring. This is a 10 point ring for blue and a green point ring for green. And if a puck is touching the line, it always scores the lesser value. Touching the green line, there's no value at zero. The disc is removed. If you're touching the blue line, it's five points. Touching the red line, it's 10 points. So, now, play would continue around the board. Yellow would shoot next. Wizards, by the way, at the beginning of every round, roll a d20. 5th edition style D&D, &D, the highest roll will be the first shooting wizard to shoot under the rules that I just specified with the red wizard. And then play continues clockwise around the table until all these pucks, each wizard with four players, get such six discs each okay so now with an opponent on the board yellow wizard has to do the following to have a valid shot his disc must come into contact with the opposing disc otherwise the disc is removed you have to be square behind the peg when you shoot the chair cannot be moved. You're allowed to lean, but, and I kid you not, this is an actual rule in Crocodile, but your one butt cheek must remain on the table at all times. So, let's see if we can get that guy, that red guy in here. Lean over my shot, try to line it up, give it a good flick in. Nope. Stopped by a bumper, so the yellow wizard would be removed. The play continues around the board. Let's say... It, get, it gets all the way around to the red wizard. And after that yellow wizard just shot, the green wizard went and he missed the red puck. The, so it was an invalid shot removed. The blue wizard shot. He missed the opposing puck, the red one. So it gets back to red's turn. Here's the rules. He has no opposing puck on the table. So he has to either come in contact with his own puck or disc, if you will. Actually, in this game, I like to call them magic missiles because they're being launched by wizards. So, he has to hit the, his own missile or his missile that he's shooting must end up in the hole or within the 15-point red ring. It must not touch the red ring when coming to rest under these conditions. So, he must strike his puck. Or get it in a hole or get it within the red ring without touching the red line. 
And yes, I can use my own puck to knock that puck into the hole, which scores 20 points immediately. We keep track of score in this game using nickels and dimes, playing up to 100 or a dollar, so to speak. If that gets sunk in the hole, that's immediately 20 points. Now, I would put two dimes or 20 points into the red house immediately. Normally, points are not added up in Crocodile until the end of the game, unless you get a pocket shot. Not the end of the game, but the end of the round. After every wizard has used all their pucks. We'll see if Red Wizard can meet one of those three conditions. No, he can't. We'll try it again just because it frustrates me. There we go. That would have been a legal shot. Now, other rules. Let's say uh, Wizard's got puck on the board. But he has a... Opposing, opposing puck on the board. Uh, let's say it's there. And my own puck is kind of blocking the shot. Right? I can do a combo shot. Striking my puck first. Causing the other puck to hit his puck. I don't want to hit his puck in the hole though. So I'm going to do it quite hard. Now if you do this shot. And your second puck. Misses his. From the combination. Both the, the, the disc you shot. Magic Missile and the Magic Missile that you hit are removed from the table and put in the green lawn of the Wizard House or spec. Successful, but unfortunately I scored 20 points for the Wizard. He would put two dimes in his hole, in his home. Score that immediately. So, let's say every Wizard has gone through all six putts. Pucks or magic missiles or discs. And here's how it ended up. At the end of the round, that was a, the theoretical setup. So we would count up each wizard's points. The blue. We'll start with red. You've got 10. Hold on, 10, 20, 30, all within the blue 10 point ring, not touching the line. Then we'll go with yellow. This is not touching the line. That's 15 point ring, that's a 15 point. This other yellow puck is touching the line. It scores 10, 15, and 10 is 25. It's not 30, red is the winner so far. And you got 15 and 10, 25. That's a tie between those two. And, of course, green only got one puck left in play by the end of the round. It's touching the blue line. It scores the outer green, 5. So, highest scoring wizard, 30 points, red. We had a tie for second highest place, which was uh, 25 each. So, 25 from the top wizard score of 30. The Red Wizard would score five points. Now, anytime a wizard flicks a puck and it leaves this play field and onto the floor, it's negative five points, and that's why you have a red sided nickel. If no points are in there, you would put a tails up nickel with the red on the back of it. And that is my custom made crocodile. I hope you all have a good one and enjoy yourselves. Stay golden.